Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. We're doing an ab circuit. It's 10 minutes, no breaks, but it's 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. So technically you get 20 seconds off every minute. Um, but really push yourself for the 40 seconds. Try to follow along exactly so you get the right technique. Always focusing on using your abs, not your neck. Uh, just mind muscle connection um, i'm gonna do a voiceover just so it's easier and uh yeah really focus on bringing your belly button towards your spine but still breathing the whole time in through your nose out through your mouth the best way i can describe it as to engage your abs is like if someone were to punch you like squeezing it you know so let's do this shit. so our first move is going to be a high plank and you're just putting one arm up to the air and then switching and keeping your core as tight as possible and not rotating your body. make sure that on these 20 second rests that you really breathe into your stomach to give yourself a break and get ready for the next exercise. Woohoo, so fun. Get ready to get into a plank position on your forearms and you're rotating your hips side to side towards the floor with control, not letting your stomach drop. Your hips are dropping and your stomach is staying nice and tight. So put your feet up in the air and then slightly down and then you're sliding your hands up your legs using your abs to crunch up for four counts and then your arms come back down and you just continue repeating that. Make sure you're using your abs, not your neck. Go on your back, we're going into a slow bicycle. So really focus on extending that opposite leg. Make sure it's not up in the air. It should be nice and low to the ground. That's when you're really gonna feel your lower abs and really crunching into the opposite knee to opposite elbow. Okay, four Russian twists into four 
body in and out, making sure that you're leaning back far enough on that Russian twist and your arms can support you in the back for these in and outs and you're just crunching your stomach back up. So four Russian twists and then four in and out full body crunches. Laying on your back, hands beside you, you're pushing your abs towards the sky and you can tap your toes on the ground, but making sure that you're really using your abs to bring your uh, booty up towards the sky, it's gonna really hit your lower abs. Okay, putting your feet together like a frog slash a butterfly and then hands behind your head and crunching up at the same time. Woohoo, you're almost done, I promise. Propping yourself up with your forearms, legs come up together, and then one of them drops to the ground. They're just L leg lifts, making sure your heel isn't touching the floor, but you're squeezing your core the entire time as if someone was gonna punch you, like I said before. Onto your back, we're going to leg lifts, but these are a little bit different because your legs are not coming all the way up. As you can see, I kind of stop about like 40, 50 degrees up. I'm not going all the way 90 degree up to the sky. It's gonna um, cause a lot more tension in your abs. So keep them nice and low and squeeze your core. Don't forget to breathe. And you can put your hands under your butt to support your back if you need, like I'm doing here.
Okay, we're planking it out. Make sure your shoulders are directly above your elbows and your butt's not too high and your uh, abs are not sagging. Everything needs to be in a line and you're trying to stay as still as possible. It's all stabilization. Uh, plank is one of the best exercises for your core. So just breathe through it, stare at your hands and squeeze your core and don't let your butt go uh, too high up into the sky. Okay, come down from your plank, but we're not resting. You have one more exercise, but just for 20 seconds instead of your 20 second rest. 20 seconds of Russian twists. Make sure that you're leaning back far enough, nice and quick, turning your core as much as you can. Good job guys, I'm proud of you to push through. Feel free to do that again if you're, you know, it's more of like an ab day. I mean, it's a perfect circuit for like after a workout. Um, but yeah, if you're doing like a main ab day, definitely feel free to do it two times. And yeah, just focus on your form if anything. Let me know if you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Make sure you subscribe, turn on the bell notification. Yeah, okay, love you guys.